May I have the schedule, please? Schedule? Yes, rotation, sign in, sign out, what I used to be in charge of. Cute. There you go. I've never hurt you, Rebecca. Why are you trying to hurt me? Thank you, Doctor. Must be pretty tough on the old ego having to punch in and out after you used to run the show. But I guess there's a bright side to everything, isn't there? You get to spend more time with your dysfunctional family. Your new by a little teenager, the brain damaged kid. Has AJ been drinking again? Yes, my children can be quite a handful. You better hope you don't run into one of them in a dark alley some night. I need CAT scan results on Lewinsky. File these charts, please. Yes, Doctor. Bertrand Lewinsky, Dr. Jones patient. Uh, I need him, I need them here stat. Eight West. Uh, Dr. Levy isn't on duty right now. Get away from me. Excuse me? Nurse, I need. Uh-huh. I will leave him the message, but that's the best that I can do. Nurse, all right. Okay, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. Go over here. Just hang in there. Die. Oh, no, you're not gonna die. They're die. doctors die. here. Here, sir. Die. Oh, die. Stop it. What are you doing? It's going Get your shot, hands nurse. off of him. Mr. Larson. Mr. Larson, can you understand me? Yeah. What happened? I took my insulin, and they didn't bring my dinner. Is there a problem here? Diabetes. Uh, I'm okay now, thanks to this guy. Nurse, get him to his room and order a blood glucose test. Don't you touch him, Jason. Thanks, fella. I'll order a dinner tray up right away. Are you a diabetic? No. How did you know what to do? I just did. Well, I'll tell you something. That half brain that you have left just got you in big trouble, Ace. What you're doing, Jason, is breaking the law. Now, I know that probably doesn't bother you, given the scope of your daily activities, but it is going to bother a judge when I bring charges against you, okay? And what you should be thinking about right now is jail. I want you to picture your mom on TV, and she's explaining why her nitwit son is roaming the halls of General Hospital, forcing sugar on the ill. Now, of course, they're going to come to me for interviews, and that's going to revive the whole nasty sexual harassment tale. You see, Jason, this is very bad. I mean, poor Monica is going to sink her career. Well, what's left of it, of course, as well as Alan's, too, because he's CEO. Now, all I have to do to make all of this happen is pick up a phone. But you won't. On one condition. You stay out of my face. Doctor, I'm not in your face when I'm following you. Now, that was very clever. I bet that was quite a stretch for you. I want you to grasp this fact. You and your family are in a very awkward position. <laughs> Look, I know who's in trouble here. OK. All right. Well, you just bear in mind is always going to be the word of a brain surgeon against the brain dead. Huh? Look, Jason, this is really the only thing that you have to understand. You keep this up, the Quartermains will pay. And I don't mean just your ma and your pa. I mean your sweet little baby sister and that smarmy politico who's your brother. Now, you compute that, moron. We're done. Excuse me. Are you Emily Quartermain's brother? Yeah. Why? Uh, well, she's a friend of mine, and uh, I'm kind of worried about her. Wait, something happen? Nothing. She's not. She's not hurt or anything. It's just she's going through kind of a rough time. And I don't. Maybe you already know that, but I thought. I, I thought know where she didn't. is. I'm pretty sure she's at home. Okay. She ought to be okay. Yeah. To be here soon. <clears throat> What do you think he's got? I don't know. Drop, maybe. Heroin's back on the street, just like the same it was before. 
Nobody knows who's putting it out there. Harry's partner must have set up a new network. Look, um, I'll, I'll come by the penthouse and let you know as soon as I'm finished. Okay. Huh? You, you, you shouldn't be out here. Okay, as soon as you, as soon as you, uh, get something I want to follow up tonight. This is personal, Jason. Thanks to Harry, we got some guy with a booming business selling heroin to kids. The only reason Harry was still around is because I let him live after what he did to Lily. My mistake makes it my responsibility. That's my guy. You're meeting him here? It was his choice. He's nervous. He wants to meet in public place. Well, oh, well, that's good. Now I'm going to have you, uh, Ruby along with Tag and bring talk to Ruby. All right, go. Uh, um, I'll wait in the car. Okay. So it's probably the kids. No, you shouldn't be out in the open. Just let me check it out. Whatever I find, I'll bring back to the penthouse. Do I babysit you? I've kept myself alive for a long time. I know what risk to take. What? Joseph, could you do me a favor? Go ahead and take a look around. You got something to say? Say it. Well, after... After Lily, for a long time, you didn't care. Now, look, I, I don't know if this is the same thing, but you matter to Robin and Mike and a lot of other people, including me. I'm angry, Jason. I'm not wrecked. I know what I'm doing. All right, it's cool. I mean, if you... I think if you saw me doing something stupid, you'd tell me I'd trust your judgment. Yeah, well, this is stupid. Well... We're uh, in a park at night, and Harry's partner's still out there wanting to get rid of you. Why give him a, why give him a chance? Harry's partner is an amateur. He has to be close to kill. That's why he needed a whole setup to put a needle in my neck at the hospital. He killed Marilyn Cooper in her apartment. But you are right. Maybe, I, you know, I shouldn't be out in the open. So go ahead and take a look around, see what you get, so we can blow this popsicle stand. and time and all life how we cling to 
to you in each moment fair and true and surrender wanting more him so much more Isn't Luke doing this? No, he hasn't spent a lot of time at the club lately. Not that we've seen much of you either. Well, I'm supposed to be a silent partner. All right. This should hold you. Yeah, for a few days. Uh, you know, you should probably go over the books, too. I thought you were handling it, Mike. Where's Robin? She called before she left school. Hey, Mike. Hey. And said uh, she was gonna see Brenda first and then meet me here, which is a good thing because I think I missed something. Business? About Taggart. Look, um, I'll take off. No, no, stay. Whatever you, whatever you have to say, you can say it in front of Mike. All right. All right, your stepfather, Deke. What's his last name, Woods? Yeah, what? When Tag was 14 years old, he was arrested by an officer, Timothy Deacon Woods. Okay, now, this didn't mean anything to me until the other night when Taggart said he'd get a bolt in his head like Deke. So I went back over my stuff and realized Deke could be short for Deacon. Look, right here, is that him? Timothy, he hated to be called that. He wouldn't let anybody call him that. All right, anyway, I had Benny run another check. Okay, get this, get this. Taggart and Deke were working at the same precinct when Deke was killed. Hey, hey, that, you know, they could have been friends. That would fill in a lot of blanks. Why would you be friends with someone who arrested you? I want to see him. If this sorry vendetta has anything to do with Deke, I want it to end tonight. Call him right now. Call him at the station. Tell him I want to meet him in 15 minutes at the dock, Pier 52, alone. Uh, Port Charles, Police Department, Main Precinct. Are, are you sure about this? What? Every time you hear Deke's name, you lose it. And that's not smart, Michael, especially with a cop. You have no say about this ever. When you walked out, yeah, you yeah, made it yeah, my problem yeah. to solve, and I am going to solve it no, without no. your help. Yeah. You know who this is? Anger boy. To what do I owe this honor? He wants to see you. He? Well, who says I want to see he? Pier 52, 15 minutes, you come along. How do I know this isn't a setup? You think I don't know you're taping this call? You think I don't know you wouldn't take a fall for him? 15 minutes. I'll be there. Alone. Alone. All right, it's all set. I'm going by myself. Forget it. You're the only person I take, but you got to be here for Robin. She'll understand. No, she's not going to have to because she's going to walk through that door, and I don't want her knowing about any of this. Now, she had me make arrangements for the two of you to go out tonight. Yeah, well, so what? I want her to have a good time. You're not going to do this. Yes, to I am, because just like you, I, I, I decide what risks to take. Just don't get killed. Even Taggart's not that stupid. I'm going to call you on your beeper. Four four fours means everything's okay. Now I know you don't lie to Robin, but don't get her too worried. Okay. Do my best, Michael. I know what I'm doing. 